Hi guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to be doing a review slash first impressions, or like, is it worth it, of the Sephora Give Me Some Lip and Liner set. And before we get into the video, if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe for, try to, I try to do weekly videos on the weekends. And yeah, so, and if you want, you can give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. And if you do leave a comment, sometimes it doesn't show up because like, YouTube like blocks all my comments and I have to like go in and get them and like fix them out. So that's, so like if it doesn't show up, that's why. But yeah, let's just get started. So, if you have don't know what this is, it just looks like that. And so I was watching YouTubers videos and they're talking about the Sephora VIB sale and my mom is a VIB, not me because I don't have a Sephora account because yeah, but my mom is. So, I was like, okay, maybe I can buy something from there with the 15% off. And so I was looking, because I have the Sephora app, at what I wanted. And I wanted the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I knew I wanted that. But then I looked, and I'm like, eh, I'm okay. I don't really want this anymore. And then I was like, oh, the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. That palette's um, gorgeous. So I'm like, okay, I want that. And then I'm like, okay, let's see if there's anything else that I want. So I looked up Sephora Favorite because I have like the old lip ones that are like $25 and so I saw this and I'm like okay this is the same amount so I'll try to get one of these the VIB sale and then I decided to ask my mom which one I should get so I went to go show her this because this was originally $60 and then it said it was only $30 on sale I'm like oh this is such a good sale it's half off so I decided to get this plus I also had a $10 Sephora gift card so basically, I got this for $20, which is amazing. And, yeah. So, and I didn't use the VIB sale because I checked, like, I bought already. But then when I looked, like, later, it was sold out. So, I don't know if it, you could still get this. Because it was sold out when I checked. But, yeah. So, this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cool because you can see all the products you get and the metallic not metallic holographic paper then the back just has like ingredients and where they're originally from it's really cool because you didn't know like did you know that smashbox is from germany and which one was it uh you have st lawrence is from france and it was weird because i found out that laura mercier was from czech republic a lot are from italy and then the u.s too so over right here i just have my lip balm just in case my lips get chapped and i have a makeup wipe it smells really good but yeah, let's get started. So if you start, take off the lid, you just have this arrangement. So I'm just gonna take it out because that's easier to grab the product. So the first lip, I'm gonna be trying them on, but I'm not gonna try the first one because you'll see why. But this is from No Cosmetics, like K-N-O-W, like I know. And this is the No Bleeding Lips Secret Lip Liner. And this is what it looks like. It's just very simple packaging. So basically it looks like this. And it does come pointed, but the only thing about like lip liners like these that you'll see that you cannot screw them down. Just kind of annoying. I don't know about the Smashbox, this one, but like the other, like this other one you can't. So I accidentally screwed it up all like too far, so the tip broke off. But so it's basically you put it on and it keeps your lips from bleeding, feathering. So if you use it with a liquid lipstick, now I'm not going to be trying this on because it's clear. But yeah, and this is full size. They include four full size products, and it costs fifteen dollars. Honestly, Elf has one of these that works really well. And I don't like the packaging that much. How you can't twist it down. I really think that this is a good thing, but I don't know if you should. maybe try like the e.l.f. one first, and if that doesn't work, if you really need it, you can buy this, but yeah. So the next thing we're going to be trying on is, or testing on, I guess, is the Tarte Tartist Lip Crayon in Mood Ring. So this is what it looks like, and I'll put it on my lips but what it is it's a lip liner that you can't screw down again 
and it's like a berry color that's what the website says and i agree with it and i love tart products so this is um 18 dollars for a full size so this sample size is only worth a dollar 80. so this is what it looks like and um sorry for like all my sauces you're gonna see like i have like some acne scars around my lips but yeah so on to the next product and this is the smashbox always sharp liner in crimson and I, this is like you have to twist off the lid but i'm not really sure if you can like bring this one down because like it's kind of hard to like twist and stuff up which like the, that's the thing like sometimes i don't know like, if there's a different way to twist it up but so this is in the color crimson the website describes it as a true blue red which I actually kind of like blue tone reds like i guess i don't know but so it's just a always sharp liner so and this is a full size lip pencil which is really nice so it is worth 21 dollars and i really like the packaging that was really weird but yeah i really like this the only thing was that it was just a little tiny bit draggy but like not a lot draggy. just like a teeny tiny bit but like not like an unbearable drag but really nice. so the last lip liner is the laura mercier lip pencil in it naked and this is a sharpening pencil like you have to use the pencil sharpener but i really like the packaging it's like just like a nice brownie kind of purple tone and it's a naked and just a nice nude color so this is an another full size lip product and it's worth 25 dollars which is really nice this is like the most expensive sample even though it's not a sample and uh the website it doesn't really describe any like it just doesn't describe but it's just like nude basically so now we're getting into the lipsticks and the liquid lipsticks so this is the yves saint laurent lipstick in oh wait, let me the yves saint laurent rogue pure couture in number 70 lenu and this is what it looks like you can't really tell but it's like an orange kind of it's described as a basic nude the uh original price is 37 dollars which is kind of a lot but the sample size price is 9.96 which is basically ten dollars next lip product is the makeup forever um artist rogue m401 matte lipstick now as i was looking this up online i couldn't find it like the exact color but then the first two were icon of pop like the music band special i'm like and it was m401 i'm like oh so this is really cool it's and by icon of pop and this is what it looks like and it's described as a hot red okay and this is a $22 full size, or the full size is $22. So this sample is about $7.33. So like $7 and a third. So pretty good sample size for this lip product. So it kind of applied, oh, uh, applied really nicely, but like in like water areas, so like pat, I don't even know. But I think it's just because of the condition of my lips. But the next lip product is the Estee Edit Lip Flip Shade Transformer in number two. Turn down for what? Just kidding, just turn up. But, so, packaging is gorgeous. Are you ready? It's just a black lipstick. So basically, you're supposed to apply it. Um like under a lipstick i think and it's supposed to deepen and darken it so first i'm going to try it by um 
under this lip product. So I'm going to show you before and then with it under it and then I'll show you it by itself. And this lip product retails for $22 because it is a full size lip product. Yeah. So this is what the Avon lipstick in petal pink looks like before the lip flip. This is what it looks like if you apply a full layer of this and then this. And this is what it looks like if I like just kind of applied it lightly and blended it out to like certain areas of my lips. And personally, I'm not exactly sure how to use this. And also, I'm not really sure why I would want to use it. Because if I wanted to darken the lip shade, I could have just used something else. But I think it's an okay product, but you could always just buy like a black NYX lipstick. Or it might be navy. I think it might be actually navy. But you could just always buy like a NYX lipstick or something like that for the same shade. So the next product I'm probably the most excited for, and it's the Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Curial. And the reason I'm most excited for this, not just because the gorgeous um, rich wine color and the formula, but it smells like cotton candy, like cotton candy scented stuff. Like, I don't know, I guess I just decided to like lay down because I had to stand up all day. So yeah, and I'm really excited for this. So this full size is worth $20, but in the sample size is worth 10, so it's basically half of a full size. So the only thing about the Buxom is, first of all, it's making it like cooling my lips and kind of making them tingle. And the second thing is not as pigmented as I wish it was, but it's still a really pretty color. But the next lip product is the Benefit du Their Real Double The Lip in Fuchsia Fever. And I've heard different things about these. Like I've heard that like they're not the best because like, I don't know, it's like a lip liner or a lipstick in one. But yeah, so I'm excited to try this out and it's described as an electric pink. So the full size is worth $20 as most of these lip products are in the $20 range and the sample size is worth $8. Um, this is like actually pretty good. I like how it like looks kind of ombre, but like it doesn't like really look that ombre. And the only thing is like if you want to touch it up. Like, let's so you want to touch it in the middle, you have to, like, just go like this, and it's rounded. Or if you, like, just want to touch it with the edges, you have to go in with the other side. But that's, like, the only thing I have to say about it. And the next product is from NARS. And it's the Velvet Lip Pencil in Cruella. Like, Cruella's Ville, so it's just, like, they describe it as a scarlet red. And the only thing to say... Is like for sam. So I was trying to figure out the sample size cost. So these sample sizes aren't going to be exact because I did it with milliliter or no, grams and ounces, and they were different. Like one was eighteen and one was twenty dollars. But this sample size says it's worth nineteen dollars and fifty five cents, as the original is twenty seven. But you know you can't like twist it up or anything. I don't think unless it's like really hard. So that's all the product you get. Like that's not worth nineteen dollars, is it? So sorry I messed up the swatch clip, like I put it with the first sign. But the next product is the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Liquor and Pre Thing. And this is described as a muted rose lip gloss. So that's what the applicator looks like. And um, the full size is $28 because Marc Jacobs is more on the higher inside so this sample size is worth six dollars and 13 cents and you get a good amount of product in here like this is a good amount of product so first of all sorry about my cringiness at the end and second of all i like this gloss because it's really comfortable and not sticky and it's not that pigmented well it's not like not so like a pink like a bright color that's really pretty next i'm really excited about it it's the Too faced melted matte lipstick in sellout or liquid li liquefied longwear matte lipstick in so and i've heard so many things about these i've wanted to try them but i did not want to pay the money 
So this is what the applicator looks like. And the full price is $21. And the sample price is $14, which is kind of a lot of money. But it's described as a matte, soft, pinky brown. Two more to go. The next one is from Stila. I'm very excited to try out this out. And this is the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Beso. And it's described as a true red. And so the full size is $24. And the sample size is worth $12. It's really good. This is like half of the size of an original liquid lipstick. I really like this color. But the last one I'm kind of scared about. It's from Ciate London and it's in Voodoo. And I actually really love this formula. I have a color in pinup. But this is in Voodoo and it's described as a black cherry color. So this is the applicator and the full size is $19 and the sample size is $5.18. So I was going to leave it on but it turned out to be patchy. Not only because darker colors turned out to be more patchier, that's the word, but also because of the condition of my lips. They're really, like, look at that. That's my makeup lip. But, um, I did half, like, I, like, smeared it off a little bit and, like, revealed, like, the black cherry color. And left, I left it on. And sorry for the bad applications and, like, bad transitions in this video. But, now, time for the final addition so I added everything up so my addition was $176.95 and their addition was $185 so it's around the same like $9 off so it is a really your bang for your buck it's about it's like $100 more than the price so do I think this is worth it do I think it's worth $60 Mm, it depends. I think if you are new in makeup, and or you just want to try out new high-end lipsticks, not like drugstore lipsticks, then I think that you should get this set. Um, if it's on the VIB sale, I recommend getting it with the VIB sale because then you can save 15% or 10%. But I think that the lips are pretty good in this. If you can get it for $30, that's a much better deal. Um, the only color I like, I don't really know what to really do with the lip lip shade. And the thing about the lip liner is how you can't like really screw them down. The lip pencil was really nice, but you can't like really screw up a lot. The liquid lipsticks, these were all gorgeous. This one was good too. So I, and these lipsticks were really nice. So I like most of the set and I'll definitely use it also. I think this is a good product especially for me who doesn't have a bunch of high lipstick and my face is really ugly right now but thank you guys for watching and bye bye